This is the Maggie Morgan Show. There has been situations where ladies and gents, okay, single brothers, single sisters, you know, escaping the waiting room. And so they find themselves getting married. And it's, I guess, really... It's, it's for the wrong reasons. When you rush out of the waiting room, you're rushing out of the plan and purposes of God for your life. And then when you do that, the devil is waiting for you at the door. Mm. Oh, Jesus. So he will, he will present to you a counterfeit mm. Mm. to seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added. This is it. <laughs> yet, 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 yet they pressured Yet they pressured the sister or pressured the brother out of the waiting room into a marriage. And I love what you, you said earlier, ma'am, about once you step out of the waiting room, the devil is just waiting for you at the door. Yes. And there's yes. some things he's going to bring your way in such quick succession. It will feel like, oh, see, I did the right thing. My other thing is age. Ah, you know, when people are of age and then you feel, oh, I'm old enough to get married. Yeah. My mates, my age mates are married. Right. I want to get married now because I'm getting old. But one thing we forget is that God is a God of times and seasons. Right. When God brings speed, <laughs> it's oh. always beyond what we can ever oh. think or imagine. God has no way of, of compressing time. Yeah, mm. so no All matter right. what it is, it, you know, when 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 somebody is coming of age, it's not a time to feel oh, I'm I'm old, I'm getting old, I want to marry. No, God is a time of is, is a God of times and seasons, and the Bible says He makes everything beautiful yeah. in His own time. It's better to marry late mm. than to marry early and marry wrong. Ooh. When you marry an unbeliever. The devil is the father in this. I know. <laughs> yes. When you marry a child of God, of course, God is your father in this. Pastor Mimi, I just want you to say that line one more time for that brother, that sister, about marrying an unbeliever who exactly their father in law is. Okay. When you marry an unbeliever, your father in law is the devil. Forget mm. your father in law is there because, as a child of God, your father is Jesus, he, he directs yeah. your heart, he instructs you, you know, he shows you the way to go. It's not all relationship that leads to marriage, and then yes, they yes. say that a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. Yeah, now, yeah, you know, even when you're, you're you were convinced at the beginning of the relationship, at that time, when God intentionally wants you to break some relationship. Not because he didn't instruct you at the beginning, not because you were not convinced at the beginning, but right? Sometimes because the person you are in the relationship with is out in is is is, is out of, of the will of God. So it does not matter how long the relationship is, if God is saying break it, mm-hmm. break. But and the one thing I've realized is that whenever God is shutting a door, it's not mm-hmm. because he does not love you. It's not because he does not he does not have plans for you. It's because there's a bigger and better goal. Being difficult to give out some things and saying, "Oh, we've been together for so long, and I can't lose him. I can't." We are only shooting ourselves in the leg. Right. Wow. It's only shooting yourself in the leg because there's a bigger and better plan that God right. has for you. Right. Marriage is not just it's not just about you. In yeah. Fact, it, it's it's ten percent you. It's ninety percent right. your generation. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, ninety percent your children and your generation. In fact, one of the reasons why people get it wrong is because they're only thinking about themselves. They're only thinking about, you know, I want to get married. I want to get married. I want to get married. They're not thinking about their children. They're not thinking about their generation. They're not thinking about. It's just them. Yeah, and that's selfishness. I want to believe that everybody has now seen that this whole waiting room in God, in God, in God, like Pastor Mimi kept saying, is really for 
one's betterment. It's not something that should be rushed. It's matter of fact, something that we should enjoy. We should see it as a blessing, praise God, and not, like I said, like some sort of a plague that you or you just need God to deliver you out of. No, 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 no. It, there's a purpose for it. Praise God.